Thank you. I call attention to, we have many problems today in higher education, uh, one of which is the excessive kind of anti-God, liberal approach, uh, a left-wing approach, I'll say, to the faculty in general, which of course flops over into the students. We, it's something that should be addressed and we should try to get back to some sort of balance in higher education. America is very divided today, about 50% more conservative-ish, about 50% uh, more left-wing, more progressive. And hypothetically, the faculty at America's colleges and universities ought to reflect that. Instead, a recent trend is going to push things in the exact opposite direction, and that is the movement of colleges and universities, including the colleges and universities with the highest reputation in the country, getting rid of standardized tests. What result will getting rid of standardized tests have on the type of people who are admitted to all of our colleges and universities, but particularly our elite college universities? Right now, a standardized test is something you either do well on or you don't. A lot of people are nervous about standardized tests, but in any event, some determination has to be made how some people get into college and some people don't. As we get rid of standardized tests, we are going to put more weight on things like an essay students submit to try to get into college. We're going to put more weight on extracurriculars or nonprofits that students work for. And what effect is that going to have on the type of students who are admitted? Given that these are subjective determinations, we know very well the professors or other people on the admissions committees will look at where you are doing your extracurriculars. You know, are you active in an evangelical church? Are you active in a conservative political party? Or are you active in more left-leaning nonprofit organizations? They will look at your essay, which is purely a subjective determination. And the danger is that these left-wing faculty members will say, oh, this person doesn't look like he'll fit in here. This person is a conservative. This person is a Christian. As the result, this ought to be of great alarm to everyone. Not to mention, the scores you get on these tests qualify or um, do a good job of predicting how well you'll do in school. And as the result, it's going to lower the quality of students. Already you hear from employers that college graduates are not as qualified, their work ethic isn't as good as new employees they had 20 years ago. What will be the effect of removing these standards. Furthermore, it's going to have a negative impact, I think, on people who come from backgrounds without as much money. You only have so much time before you go to college to put together your resume. If you need more money, if you have to work, say, 30 hours a week at the local McDonald's, you don't have the time to put together the long resume that looks so good at college admissions. Today, or in the past with standardized tests, the kid who's got to work 30 hours a week at McDonald's and doesn't have time for a lot of do-gooder causes, he can do a great job on his standardized test and still get in. But this penalizes the person who has to do a lot of work on the outside and rewards the student who doesn't have to make any money on the side in high school. This is certainly not something that we want, but will unquestionably be uh, the result of getting rid of standardized tests. It will also increase the importance of perhaps high school grade point. And one more time, a grade point is to a certain extent subjective as well. We hear already in high school, but all the time in college, we'll come back to that in a second, Already in high school, students have to lie a little bit on the essay because the teachers are very liberal. I had a teacher who uh, taught at a high school in Wisconsin, a very sizable high school, and she said she was the only Republican 
in the whole faculty of that high school. So what does that say about your grade point coming out of that high school? Now, I don't know if they believe her. It was a very large high school, but she felt she was the only one. In other words, what you're going to wind up with once these subjective determinations are made is you're going to have the same liberal bias that happens once you get into college. Talk to an uh, a English professor in the University of Wisconsin. The gentleman's says, time's expired. Know, pardon? The gentleman's time has expired. Okay. So in any event, I strongly encourage this institution to gentleman's look at the, time has expired. the lack of diversity that we have as we the get rid of The House is now in recess. Tests.